Wow, you can really feel that. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe and you wanna be part of the tribe, subscribe. Ego, digging in their heels back in 2012, they became the number one battery outdoor power equipment brand in the US and have totally changed the landscape of lawn and garden equipment forever. And as of 2020, they're an established brand worldwide delivering power beyond belief. The question is, does this Ego 615 CFM cordless blower deliver on those expectations? Let's find out. All right, let's dive right in here. I bought this Ego with my own money, so you know you're getting honest information here. The Lowe's website states that this unit is good for lawns less than a quarter of an acre. Great, my lawn's about a third of an acre. Now this Ego 615 CFM blower from the Power Plus line is made by Shervan, a Chinese company, and they're also manufacturing parts for these in Germany. Let's open this box up. We have our narrow tip nozzle, our main air tube. They really want to tell you that this thing is 615 CFM. Our instruction manual. Man, oh man, look at the size of this sucker. Holy cannoli. Let's get the bag off this guy. That looks pretty sharp. I can tell you right off the get-go, this thing feels really nice in your hands. It's got a great grip here. Ah, the brains of the operation. Here it is, the battery. This sucker's got some weight to it. There it is. Look at that. Are you fancy, huh? Got some juice. Two bars, straight out of the box. And then this right here is the charger. Look at the size of this guy. All right, let's get her set up. Just to give you an idea on the size here, this tube is about as big as a McDonald's burger bun. All right, so we have our main tube here. Let's slide it on. Uh-oh, here's something that grinds my gears. This, you can see, is a little wobbly. This makes me a little nervous here. If I hit it against something hard enough, I feel like I could probably crack it. This just doesn't feel as solid as it could be. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Let's slide on the battery. There we go, nice solid click. I'll tell you what, this thing looks futuristic. To me, it doesn't look like a blower. <laughs> to me, it looks like a bazooka. <sighs> pretty wild looking. It's pretty long too. Without the air nozzle on, it measures 37 inches. With the air nozzle on, it measures about 40 and a half. Now that it's all together, let's break down the basics here. The biggest feature on this blower is going to be the turbo button up top. It's turbo time. <laughs> That's gonna deliver you the whopping 615 CFM when pressed. Hold up, what's CFM? CFM, or cubic feet per minute, is a measurement of the volume of air a leaf blower can produce at wide open throttle. This measurement tells us how much space in cubic feet you can fill in one minute. One of our subscribers here to the channel actually put it perfectly. They said to think of CFM like volume and the airspeed coming out the pipe as pressure. The higher the CFM, the larger the area your blower can have an effect on and the better you can keep things moving. Leaves, debris, whatever you got in your way, even if you got wet leaves stuck to the ground, a high CFM blower can help move them out. With most handheld gas blowers being in the 350 to 450 CFM range, this guy definitely amps things up a bit. It has a neat little variable speed control dial. <laughs> AKA cruise control on the side that delivers 200 CFM on the low end and 480 CFM on the high end. That's not bad, it offers you a nice range. I do like how the air intake vent here is on the back facing backwards rather than here on the side because then it would just be pulling at your pants and trying to suck it in. Smart thinking, Ego. Blowing force on this unit ranges from 11.3 newtons to 16.5 newtons on turbo with a stock battery. Now let's talk about what's driving all this power the battery. 56 volt, 2.5 amp hour, arc lithium battery. Sucker's got some weight to it. Average full battery charge times are right around 50 minutes. This thing likes to make this little sound that goes Wah! When this thing's done charging, I feel like it should tell you. It should be like, I'm done. Now Ego states that you get an average runtime of about 75 minutes on a single charge. You get 100 minutes on low and only 10 minutes on turbo. Wait, what? There's something that grinds my gears. They market this blower as a 615 CFM blower, a high number, but you only see those numbers when you have the turbo button pressed. That's kind of like saying your car can go 150 miles an hour, but only when you're using NOS. That high CFM comes at a high cost. Running that turbo button full time will drain your battery in 10 minutes or less. And if you have a big job with a lot of heavy wet leaves, bye bye battery, use that turbo button sparingly. It would have been nice to see 15 minutes or more here. I think we'll have to run some tests in a future video.
Wind speeds on this unit go up to 170 miles per hour with the nozzle on the end and turbo mode pressed. For the average homeowner, these are actually pretty good numbers that should last you through most small to medium tasks, while occasionally taking on some heavy duty ones too. A bigger, more expensive battery will improve these numbers, but only by a small degree. The high efficiency brushless motor delivers longer runtime, lower vibrations, and an extended motor life. Brushless motors are a great way to go. I have brushless motors in some of my other power tools and I beat the crap out of them. It has a weather resistant construction that feels durable in your hands. It has a comfortable grip and an ergonomic design that helps get the tube right at the ground. Is the noise level comfortable with this blower? Well, it dials in at 85 decibels. And at school, when my students fall asleep, I blow off an air horn that is 90 decibels. So, hearing protection is recommended. This Eagle blower comes with a five year tool warranty and a three year battery warranty. For this model, there wasn't a commercial warranty listed. Time out. If you're interested in reading up some more information on this Eagle blower, I'll have some links down below in the description. And all I ask in return is that you take a super quick second to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go blast some stuff with this blower. Whoa. Wow. You can really feel that. Here's the blower operating on high at normal. And then turbo. And then when you let the trigger go, it kind of reminds me of that sound of a proton pack powering down in Ghostbusters. Oh, nice shooting, Tex. Let's go attack some leaves. Okay, so initial impressions. Right out of the box, I like this blower. A lot of kick with this thing. I found that running the dial on high is kind of where you need to be to really get stuff moving with this. And the turbo feature up top does add a nice push. I found that once I got leaves to the parkway, by pushing that turbo button, I could give it that last push it needs to get it to the curb. You can start to feel the weight of this unit as you lug it around your yard. Without the battery, it weighs 4.74 pounds, pretty light. With the battery on, it weighs 12.5 pounds. So is this the best cordless electric blower under $200? Ego really nailed a sweet spot with the power for the price. For the average homeowner with a small to medium lawn, this would be a solid purchase if you wanted one less thing to maintain in your garage gear arsenal. But look out, extra batteries will run you a pretty penny. $149 for a 2.5 amp hour battery? Wow. Leaves are starting to come down now so I'll be putting this blower through its paces. So as fall starts to make its way in, expect a video on this Ego in just a few short weeks. Don't forget to give me one of these and be sure to check out more cool garage gear videos right here. And I'll see you in the garage.